Are you using autoresponders or drip campaigns? If you aren't, you should be. They're a perfect way to leverage your CRM to nurture relationships with your customers over the long term. Welcome to this episode of Simple CRM. How to use what you know and who you know to grow your business with the president of Address2, Troy Hanna. Autoresponders or drip campaigns, we sometimes even refer to them as triggered campaigns, are messages that are set up to go out on a predetermined schedule. Potential and existing customers can either enter a campaign in a variety of different ways, and regardless of how they enter into the campaign, the automatic process allows you to stay in touch with your customers, provide them value, and nurture them closer to a first sale or their next purchase. The most common ways that autoresponders are used are as a follow-up series of emails once a potential or existing customer opts into your website. You've probably been to a number of websites and signed up for a newsletter, a free report, or audio file, a white paper, or some other type of free gift. In exchange for your email address, the business or organization agrees to give you something of value. Once you enter your name and email, that company or organization has their system set up so that it automatically responds to that action by sending you that promised item. It may be a one-time thing or it may be a series because you've opted in, you're also going to be likely to receive their regularly monthly newsletter or something like that. To set up your autoresponder, here are three things you need to determine. First, decide what exactly you want to deliver to your audience once they've opted in. Make sure that whatever it is provides an awesome value for them before you ask them to make that purchase. Think about an autoresponder this way. It's like courting or dating a potential customer. Don't rush into things and push them to the sale. What you provide doesn't have to be huge and extravagant. It can be a checklist, a copy of an audio interview you've done previously, an ebook, or even just the first chapter of an ebook if it's a huge publication or something like that. Think about your audience and what things you can do to help them. When you think about your offering in terms of what's good for them, how it can help them be better in their business. Next, Decide how they will get into that campaign. Will it be an opt-in on your website or will it, will you have like a fan gate on your Facebook page where they can request it? Will they enter into it manually from attending an event? Whatever you choose, remember that you must never ever put someone on your email distribution list that hasn't expressly given you permission to do so. This is not only bad form, but it's against the Can Spam Act and violating it could get you in a little bit of trouble. Finally, decide the schedule that you deliver this offering. If it's a one-time piece, should you send it right away? If it's a series, you can deliver it daily, weekly, or, or some sort of other schedule that makes sense. And on a side note, you might also want to make sure that you're determined how you will continually keep in touch with that prospect once that specific campaign ends. Do you need to kick on another campaign or do you need to reach out to them via phone call? Remember, they won't ever buy from you if you don't continue to nurture that relationship. Use these tips to set up your own autoresponders or drip campaigns. You'll discover that it's a lot like having an additional team member or an assistant even working to help improve your relationships and boost your bottom line. Check out information about how Address2 handles drip marketing campaigns by visiting the link below and ask us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this episode of Simple CRM with Troy Hanna. For more great information, visit the Address2 website at address2.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.